Christians around the globe are celebrating the birthday of Jesus, and one local family is also celebrating the birthday of their loved one. Their great grandmother, Ruth Etheridge, is turning 104 years old today. Anchor Sully Kim sat down with her and has the story of her long and amazing journey. And that day, you picked up the phone, and Central said, The war is over. The war is over. She's talking about World War I. Ruth Etheridge was only six at the time, but she remembers that day like it was yesterday. But I was in the kitchen with my mother when the news came over. The war is over. Etheridge is now 104 years old, but still very sharp. Her memory as clear as day as she walks down memory lane with her daughter, granddaughters, and great granddaughter. Do you remember the Black Friday shopping trips that we went on together? Etheridge had a fall recently and broke her right arm, so she's staying here at the Forest Manor Nursing and Rehab Center in Covington, where nurses are taking good care of her. That's where I visited her, spending a good deal of time getting to know the woman who lived more than a century. And talking to her was like reading a history book. I'm very grateful for a good mind. She remembers World War I, World War II, and the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. That president, it seemed that there were no party lines, that everybody loved him. And when he was assassinated, like I say, the whole, we all mourned. Everybody did. Etheridge has lived through 18 presidents, and when she was born in 1910, she says eggs were only about 20 cents a dozen. Milk was 10 cents a quart, and 13 at the most. Etheridge never thought she'd be blessed with a long and healthy life. As a young woman, she was pursuing her passion, playing piano at a radio station. It was her love for music that led her to the love of her life. He was standing outside the observation window when we, I had the opening 15-minute program every day. So from then on, I had lunch and dinner with him for two weeks, and he proposed to me. She was happily married for 49 years. Everyone asks her what her secret to longevity is, and Etheridge is quick to say it includes enjoying sweets every day. Uh, my mind always goes to desserts because ice, ice cream is my favorite dessert. <laughs> but it's also her strong faith in God. In my life, I, d I don't pray to live and I don't pray to die. I always pray for God's will to be done. And that makes me comfortable and I don't worry. And the constant love and support of her children. My children have always been a joy to me and they still are. On your side, Salah Kim, WDSU News.